everybody. I actually look like a tomato today. I have this nice like burn. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chloe and I went for coffee today for a few hours to catch up because we just have extremely busy lives and we never get to see each other. It's really hot out and I did, clearly thought wearing like a cutout shirt was a good idea, which it wasn't. So anyways, I'm here. I've been trying to film a video all week, but I've either like just it's been a mess. I've tried to film three vlogs this week and it has not worked. I did one. All my files corrupted, so I had to delete that. And I already deleted the, like it off the memory card, so there was no point in getting that vlog back. The second time I went out, I still have that footage. But there was an incident with Salem. I went to ride, not yesterday, so Wednesday. It's currently Friday. Hopefully I'll have this up tonight or tomorrow morning. And... Something was really off about him. He wasn't lame. He was very lazy, which is obviously so unlike him. Um, very lazy, very pokey. It was super hot out. Like, he was just being like very like blah, I guess is the best way to put it. And he was really over bending to the right, which once again, Salem is not a bendy horse. He's like the, a straight freaking ruler, okay? And so that was weird and to the other side he wasn't so I'm kind of thinking he hyperextended something in the paddock or something or just you know did something ran and tripped or like something he just off he wasn't lame though obviously it's in his shoulder so I am giving him a few days off and my lease is drying tomorrow morning and we'll hear how he is and I'm gonna go see him tomorrow and I will most likely vlog so that's gonna update on that I filmed a video I looked back on the footage and I was like this looks horrible it was just it was not a good ride but that's okay because he was obviously a bit uncomfortable um, so there's that vlog that I just decided not to upload and then I've just either looked like a sack of potatoes and didn't want to vlog or I've just been really busy. I do work full time. I work about 38 to 42 hours a week so I am kind of <laughs> just all over the place. Um, I have makeup on today so I was like hey you know what we'll film a little updates video for you guys. I work it's 8 on Fridays. I tend to work a 4 to 8 which I don't really like but oh well it's a premium. I'm getting paid. So that, that Kurt's done at 10.30 so I'm just going to have to occupy myself for like two and a half hours. I'll probably end up going and editing this after. But yeah, there's not too much. I've just been working full time. Summer school ended around June 17th. So I've had a few weeks off from that. I already miss it. I'm the person who like loves being at school. I just love having a schedule and being busy. And so just working full time is not enough for me. I'm riding about three or four times a week, um, given this week, obviously not. But we do show on the 16th, which is not this Sunday, but the next Sunday after. So I was like, he's been in boot camp. Well, he was starting boot camp this week, but you know, he went and hurt himself. So he's getting a few days off. It's not the end of the world. I mean, whatever so we'll be doing that show um there is a show at the end of august i haven't decided if i'm gonna do it yet only because the weather that like that time here can be very like iffy um but i'm really excited about the show next week um he's had a lot of time off for different reasons the week before so the week of canada day which was last week was insanely rainy and um my lisa didn't get out for a week i didn't get out it, it didn't stop raining for literally a week so that was frustrating but that's okay we have about a week i'll put him into consistent work all week and we'll see how the show goes. So we're basically going to the show with like nothing in the last few weeks. Um, but that's okay because regardless, I am just so proud of him, how far he's come. And I, like I keep saying, I am just ridiculously proud of him. He has come such a far way. Um, and yeah, I love that. Like he's just been really awesome. I have thought about getting another horse. I really want to get a foal or um, a young horse, but we'll have to see what kind of goes on um like i said the plans are still to move out in a few months as you guys know i don't know if you guys know but you probably did that her and i were looking around um early spring this year and moving out but we just decided to wait a bit to save a bit more money and so the plan is to move either um early to mid 2018 right now i think i don't know <laughs> so that's what's going on with that so we're just trying to save some money so getting a second horse right now probably isn't the best idea um and yeah, Salem's not going anywhere. And he's sticking around. And um, he is being ridden by someone once a week. Find someone that would be interested in lacing him um, long term because it does help me out a lot during the school year. Um, and yeah, so I'm actually going into my last year of uni, which is kind of crazy. I actually just dropped my four year to a three year because I just felt it was really unnecessary. Um, and yeah, I did that, but I actually will be graduating this year. I will be taking an extra year of classes. So I'm basically doing a three-year program in four years. Um, it's just what I ended up wanting to do. And yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm just, yeah, school's 
good. Uh, I'm really excited to go into this year. I have a lot of awesome classes. I'm either going to put him into training in the winter or to start taking lessons, but I think I'm gonna put him into a bit of training over the winter. Uh, that way, yeah, my goal is actually, I don't know if I probably told you guys, but I had a dream of the night that I showed third level, and so I am making it a goal of mine to show third level next year. This is happening, we are doing it, we're getting 60s in first level, like this is happening, we're doing third level. Um, most of our area actually skips second level because if you've ever written a second level test, you'll know that it's super choppy. For second level tests are just not, like I just don't like them. My, like most bars I've been to, the coaches are like second level, it's just like a filler level. So we are going to, I really hope we can. I really hope so. I'm going to see if I can afford to put him into training over the winter um, and take lessons once in a while. Because I feel like at that point you need to start at least, his changes need to be cleaned. His changes are there, but they're like auto hunter changes. So they need to be cleaned and ginger sauce changes, which might be a little difficult. Um, considering he doesn't let you ride with spurs or whip. So we'll have to see how that goes. But that's my goal. Um, or maybe just second, I don't know. I was thinking about doing another schooling show and showing second in about a month or so, but we'll have to see if his travail can like, you know, fix, because his travail right now is really just not pretty. I'm enjoying riding and advancing, and I'd rather just do this show and then stop showing and then put my money into training and lessons for next year and do a full show season next year, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. So um, that's kind of what's going on. I think I'm going to film a barn vlog tomorrow, but I just kind of want to let you guys know where I am. I'm sorry. Like, life is just so hectic, but and yeah, I'm really excited. Also, how do you guys feel about the non-horsey videos? Because I really would love to document, like, my trips and stuff. Like, my boyfriend and I are going on a four-day trip for my birthday to Toronto and Niagara Falls, and I really want to vlog it or, like, do a travel diary, but I'm not sure if you guys would be interested because every time I upload non-horsey videos, they just, and it's not about the views, but they just don't get a lot of views, and I feel like you guys just don't like them. But let me know what you guys want to see. Um, seriously, I love your recommendations. So comment down below what you guys want to see. I know you guys love barn vlogs, but other than that, do you guys want me to do some, like, riding rods with voiceovers? Do you guys want me to do travel diaries? Do you want me to do, I don't know what, I could do hauls, but I don't buy things. Like, let me know what you guys want to see because it is all about you guys. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will talk to you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this and I love you guys all so much and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.